From March 23rd to the 27th, the International Court of Justice will hold public hearings at the Peace Palace in The Hague, Netherlands, to address the question of whether the court has jurisdiction to hear the Guyana-Venezuela border case. The hearing comes weeks after Guyana's general and regional elections, and former Foreign Affairs Minister Sir Sridhar Ramphal said it is important to maintain peace and unity. The closing days of a national election and the days immediately after it when it pronounces its democratic decision. Those days are fractious ones in any democracy. And Guyana is not immune from this. But we do have a greater need than usual to demonstrate to the world that our national motto does describe us. One people, one nation, and does proclaim how elemental that oneness is. The former minister was on Thursday addressing the recommissioning of the Foreign Ministry's Protocol Office named after him at the ship Chanderpaul Drive in Georgetown. The diplomat who helped to craft Ghana's constitution noted that the border case will settle Venezuela's baseless claims over two-thirds of Ghana's territory. He credited the process of arriving at the ICJ to former and current governments. Ghana in March 2018 submitted its application to the ICJ requesting the court confirm the legal validity and binding effect of the 1899 arbitral award regarding the boundary between Ghana and Venezuela. Present at the event was the Venezuelan ambassador to Ghana, Luis Monclou. The event was also addressed by the current Foreign Affairs Minister, Dr. Karen Cummings, who lauded the work of all foreign ministers. The current government has since rehabilitated the building and rebuilt it from a wooden to a concrete structure to the tune of $317 million. The rededication was done as part of Ghana's 50th Republic celebration. President David Gunger, in his remarks, praised Sir Ramphal as Ghana's most distinguished statesman. Sir Sridhar Ghana is eternally grateful to you for your inestimable contribution to building our republic. The Cooperative Republic of Guyana considered it fitting that this institute, dedicated to educating our country's cadets and diplomats, should be named after you, Sir Sridhar one of the architects of Guyana's foreign relations. It was my intention when I assumed the presidency in May 2015 that Guyana should recapture the exceptional standards for which our nation was known and respected, especially in the public service and the foreign service. He spoke of the importance of the foreign ministry to not only foster good relations but represent citizens in the diaspora. The Ramphal House was first dedicated in the 1980s by former President LFS Burnham. Bibi Kassoun, Newsroom.